Hello, have you ever heard of this particle? It's called the axion. It is a hypothetical particle introduced to the world of physics in 1977. It was introduced to solve physics's most underrated problem, the strong CP problem. This problem arises when one of the four fundamental forces of nature, the strong force, doesn't behave according to the predictions of quantum chromodynamics, which is it should break the combined CP symmetry like its younger brother, the weak force. The C stands for charge symmetry, which means that if the charges in this universe is switched, the theories of physics would still hold. The P stands for parity symmetry, which means that in the same way if the direction of the axis is reversed, nothing would change for the laws of physics. To solve this, a new theta term was added to the equation of quantum chromodynamics, but even then the result was same. This occurred because the new variable theta took a value of 0 when it could take any value between pi and minus pi, which is extremely improbable. To get around this, in 1977, Helen Quinn and Roberto Piché proposed that theta should be thought of as a field instead of a constant assigned to a variable. Then the value would automatically drop to 0 as the field would occupy the least energy state and would oscillate about that state. As all particles are nothing but oscillations in a quantum field, this oscillation should also give rise to another particle. This was recognized by Frank Wilczek and Steven Weinberg, and that particle was named the axion, after the then famous detergent axion, as it could clean up the strong CP problem. This particle is predicted to have no spin, no charge, should be one billionth the mass of an electron, and wouldn't interact with any matter or interact very weakly. Its existence could clean up another problem of modern physics, the existence of dark matter. Looking at our universe, scientists observe that galaxies contain a lot less matter than they what should be in order to stay together. They concluded that there must be some matter in huge amounts other than visible matter which doesn't interact with anything and they named it dark matter. Axions could be a potential candidate for dark matter as they would be abundant since they don't interact with anything and would share expected properties of dark matter. If the axion doesn't interact with anything, how can we detect it? Pierre Shikivi 1983 answered this question by theorizing that the axion would decay into a photon after passing through a strong magnetic field and vice versa, as it would interact with the electromagnetic field. Telescopes such as CAST are screening the universe using this method to detect this ghost particle. Now only time can tell if all efforts behind this particle will be fruitful or was it just a hopeless rabbit hole. My name is Anaf. Thank you for watching.